Well, uh, let's look at the forecast for all the pups out there. If you're headed out this morning, how's it looking? Uh, beautiful. You know, we're getting lucky with this weather here, at least relative to our spring so far, because April and the first half of May have been just so soggy. So this week here, we'll see more dry days than rainy ones. And uh, today, one of the better days here, we'll see temperatures working towards the mid upper 60s this afternoon. Today will be a great day to hit the park. Say good morning to this trio. This is uh, Minnie, Taylor and and Suba in the back. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Rick, thank you for sending in the shot. Beautiful to hit the park today. Uh, this morning we will see a dry start. We'll keep it dry through the afternoon. Temperatures again right now mostly in the 40s, but the low 50s here soon. Uh, still some clouds around areas in Portland and the Valley, but we'll soon see those dissipating a bit and we'll get more sun breaks through the afternoon. Notice how we are dry now, but offshore here, this next weather system churning away. This will start to roll in with the jet stream and bring us some rain, widespread rain back in the picture by Wednesday morning. So hang up the jacket now, but keep it close by. You'll want it out the door for our Wednesday morning. We are expecting a rainy commute again throughout today through the afternoon, partly sunny skies, not tracking any rain today. We do stay dry. We even stay dry overnight, but heading into our early morning, we'll start to see some light showers at first trickling for the coast. There's that frontal boundary. You can see here these showers trickling in as we head into our early morning here in the valley. We'll keep that rain rolling in as we head into the rest of the morning tomorrow. Again, six o'clock through eight o'clock, the heaviest of rain uh, in Portland and up and down the I-5 corridor in southwest Washington. We see showers through Wednesday afternoon, some drier moments out there too. Then Thursday afternoon, we'll bring back a chance for some pop up showers. Uh, so again, you'll want your rain jacket through Thursday as that system rolls in. The system will also bring some gusty conditions for the coast. Some speeds around 35, maybe 40 miles per hour up and down the Oregon coast by tomorrow morning. So a little blustery of a start out there. Uh, and in Portland, we'll see some gusts up to possibly 30 miles per hour uh, throughout the morning at times very briefly, but still some blustery conditions for us as well. Also snow for Mount Hood heading into Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Snow will continue to fall up there and a lot of it will stick to the higher elevations likely above 5,000 feet timberline to the summit, possibly up to a foot of new snow, uh, but down towards the pass is a couple of inches possible, likely still drivable, but could see some slushier slick spots as we head into those days. So just check those conditions closely if you're heading up to the mountain through the middle of the week. The coast today, mid upper 50s, clouds decreasing. We'll see more sunshine through the afternoon. Same goes for the valley, mid upper 60s. Just a gorgeous day to get outside. So take advantage of the sunshine and the dry weather. We're back under rain on Wednesday with cooler temperatures in the low 60s. Come Friday and the weekend, we should see a stretch of dry days with pleasant highs in the low to mid 70s. So make some plans and enjoy it. All right, thanks, Kelly.